I mean, hey, you guys already took the big stuff. I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You ain't the only one. like... <laughs> no, man, I'm, I'm, no, you ain't weird. I'm the same way. Like, I, like trust me, man. Like, I, I personally would rather just sit in my room and just work on something I like and That's just build me. something rather That's than me. just like if hanging out all the time. If, if I didn't have to go out and talk to like anybody else, nah. I mean, sometimes you know. Yeah, and like, me, I'm oh. just in there like, hey, I got a podcast, bro. <laughs> come over, yeah. come over here. You know what I'm <laughs> he's, helped, he, he's helped a lot of this. Over here and talk to me. But that's, it takes a skill though. It takes a skill to actually like be able to, uh, you know, interview somebody, talk yeah. to them oh, constantly. No, that's for sure. See, that's for and sure. that's the thing. Like that's that's my bag. Like that's 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 what I do. Yeah. I just I just hate doing. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's sort of like. Uh, I'm trying to think of, there's actually a podcaster who's sort of like that. He's like, oh, I'm sort of anti-social, but. Yeah, you know, but I podcast. Yeah, I'm the yeah. guy doing that. I'm a weirdo, that. bro. Like, I'm a complete weirdo. No, you just got to oh, right. the world go on, bro. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, hey, hey, we're, weirdos are in now, so. Yeah, dude, it's, it's the year of the weirdo. <laughs> After years of being messed with, yeah, right. weirdos yeah. rise up. All the yeah, <laughs> yeah like finally, the weirdos <laughs> unite. <laughs> Got into so many fights from just enjoying all of this type of stuff, man. It's crazy, right? Nah, it's yeah, acceptable. Man. It's really odd how culture has um, moved in the last ten years. Like yeah. just when I was in high school, what's happening now wouldn't have been happening. Like just the different things people like, the kinds of music, the it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. all changed. I, start, I think I started seeing the nerd shift when when Marvel movies really really started popping. It seemed like everybody started to indulge into yeah. the comic culture and then yeah. indulge in everything else too. Yeah, like Forever Twenty One selling Dragon Ball Z shirts <laughs> yeah. for thirty five dollars. Are you yeah, crazy? Really Is that acrylic on the shirt? Yeah. Like, are you? <laughs> Know who these people are <laughs> like 35 dollars and people just wearing it just because like come on man like <laughs> oh that dragon ball z and the looney tunes <laughs> like all right what? Like, yeah it's it's, it's good talking it's about it's getting crazy i mean it's a it's it's a good sign um like when it comes to how people and their minds work you we know tend what? pause this is yeah. content i have not pressed record oh let's start this off no because you 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 guys are talking about, good yeah i'm like wait a minute <laughs> wait a, a good, minute it's a good podcast we're yeah, about to make him sit minute. down and just you know games on one of the, it, this is one of the best soundtracks in video games for sure. People be sleeping on Sonic 2. Sonic 2? No, Sonic, Sonic 2 has some hits. Hey, Sonic 2. Sonic 2. Hey, Casino Night Zone? Oh, oh yeah, 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 for sure. For My sure. God. We want to talk about some ill soundtracks in video games, man. We got to have that convo. Sega messed up a lot of things. They didn't mess that up. I mean, if we're gonna if we're gonna throw in uh, hot soundtracks, I'm gonna have to step up for Halo. Halo Three has that OSC Halo for me. Dude. Halo does have a yeah, good. Dude. Halo, I live, I live Halo got Halo. a good score, man. Halo Seriously, got a good bro. score for sure. We was talking about this uh, on Facebook. We uh, introduce yourselves first. Before yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Let's <laughs> do that. Into the conversations. No, no. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, do we just start here? I guess. Um, my name's uh, Egby Idahosa. Yeah, I'm the sound effect. That's my name right there. <laughs> no, um, I'm Diego Greenhill, and we're representing Fire.TV. Right, guys. Fire! It's hot out here. It's hot. Fire! The block hot. is hot. It's hot. That's right. I didn't know what you guys were, but I knew I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, well, but, but I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, I think they do some video game streaming. <laughs> we got to go talk to those guys. Well, it's, it's crazy how um related... Uh, video games and animation are when it comes to streaming yeah. like you have so much um i guess crossover between the creators there but just to give some uh, i guess some explanation to what diego said uh, we're fire.tv we're a brand new streaming site that literally launched last week it's um a site dedicated to indie animators um for indie animators it's sort of like a mix of cartoon network meets twitch imagine uh you know you create your own show or you have an idea for a show Rather than going out to L.A. to some rich executive, you can just post your show on Fire.TV. Uh, people can come and watch it there. They can subscribe to your show right there for five bucks a month and essentially give animators a way to 
grow their own intellectual properties without having them sell out to big companies. What what made you what made you just want to start? What what was the light bulb like? I want to do this. I want to um, start this for people because so, this is a benefit to people. Absolutely, to, to the community. You absolutely, love. man. Um, the background, like so, Diego and I both went to CCS, uh, College for Creative Studies. It's right here in Detroit, one of the Never best art schools in the country. Um, that's right. Give it up for CCS, man. You do a good job there. Um, we, I was there for illustration. He was there for entertainment arts, and you know. When we got out of school, we realized that for artists, there's just not much opportunity. Like there are jobs out there, but they're not enough jobs for you know, every single individual who graduates. So we decided, hey, let's let's focus on our minds and try to think of something that would, like you said, help more people within this community. Uh, along the way, we started a tech firm called Kazology. It's based downtown Detroit. We build apps, uh, you know, software. We're in a ton of different industries. And we decided to work on this idea we had for motion comic books, like a platform for that. And as it evolved, it ended up becoming a platform for animated shows where people can post their own shows rather than comic books. Um, and it just kept going. We taught ourselves how to program. We did all the designs, you know, just went through the all the steps and now we're here with the launch it's really it's really surreal oh this is the launch yeah like brand new it's really exclu oh, exclusive exclusive we, we exclusive exclusive, exclusive. On, what you on mean the day? another the day one <laughs> Talk that. exclusive man that's yeah, what i'm dude. talking about look at that came across the exclusive didn't even know so basically y'all doing the job of like the college that you guys went to because it sounds like you guys are opening up opportunities. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, you yeah. have no idea. Okay. That's that, that is Let insane. Let me, you guys, you get, this, is is, this is a insane. thing that's going to blow everybody's mind right here. So everybody in this chat, and I'm guessing in the audience, they love anime. They watch anime. They've seen Dragon Ball Z. They've seen Cowboy Bebop, all these great shows. Yeah. Um, but the story behind how these things get made are tragic, to tell you the truth. So Japan... Japan has an average salary of $144,000 a year. So if you're in Japan, living good, you know, you work in a business, you're getting 144K. They consume 30% of the world's luxury goods. It's one little country. In animation, you would think, okay, so if they're making so much money in the country, people here got to be making money. The animation industry makes $19 billion a year, so it's definitely making some cash. However, if you're a first-year student getting out of college for animation in Japan, guess how much you're getting? pennies what, you're gonna uh, get scraps i was about to say what i got out of college like once you're i get graduated, scraps. like i got nothing i got uh ten dollars an hour <laughs> i wish you got ten dollars an hour. they get nine grand a year what oh, hell no. like hell professional hell animators hell no. who are literally putting their blood sweat people are dying in japan just from overwork there, there's something on the soundboard that bro you i yo <laughs> yo no because look <laughs> I've been to Japan. I went over there to study abroad for three months. Yeah. Bro, there would literally be people dressed super crispy in business suits, yep. knocked out. Yep. On benches. Correct. Not, they're not homeless. Correct. They tired. Working 70-hour work weeks. And a lot of them are getting compensated for that, you know. So, But it's still an issue when it comes to the overwork. It's just in the animation sector, they're being overworked and they're not getting paid. And these are people who can easily make their own intellectual properties make their own animation it's just there was no platform for them to put that on that would help them get more fans that would donate to their stuff and that's where we saw that problem like hey you know this industry is really centralized really stagnated all the money is literally going to a few people at a few agencies a few studios and we had an opportunity to change that nine thousand a year that nine thousand a year it's sad it's that's slavery. Ridiculous. Yeah, that's ridiculous. There are people literally passing out at their desks yeah. while working, <laughs> oh, just because it. like it's, it's too much work. Yeah, that's, that's oh, okay. Uh, that's nuts. That, yeah, that I was, didn't know that. That's a fun fact. You, you just gave me a bunch of facts that uh, have kind of blown my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me start. I like to start from the beginning. Okay. Let's, let's go origin stories. What is yeah, dude, I love the lore. You know, origin lore. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about, I guess, how you guys acquired the love for uh, this culture. What What is it that you first took to? What was the first thing 
uh, YouTube Diego. I don't want yeah, Diego they, over they, they, here yeah, in, in the listening. corner, bro. Like, oh, like, bro, I'm <laughs> just stuck in the corner. <laughs> yeah, like, Diego, he I'm on just, the camera. I'm Diego's a, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. Right. That's right. Nine thousand a year. Absolutely right. Affirmative. Confirmed. He's, he's, he's our attorney. He's just going to check off all the things I say. Yep, yep that's right. <laughs> <laughs> these are facts. These are facts. Uh, Where the love start? I mean, shoot. Simple as like coloring books and Saturday morning cartoons, man. Right. That's where well, it started. Right. That's right. I could sit back. And, that's right. I could sit back Literally just look on the screen. Remember when Dragon Ball first came out? It was when what TV twenty? Yep. It just drawing. Yeah. Like, talk that TV Classic. twenty. Talk. We was talking Classic. about that on the podcast. Yep. Classic. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Tree of Might. When Tree of Might used me. Oh, yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. They don't remember it. Y'all don't, don't remember it. Youngins. That dude. Only two thousand kids remember Tree of Might. Struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Millennials rise up. <laughs> But yeah, like you said, um, for me, like growing up watching cartoons, um, when I got into college, I actually hadn't animated much until college, and I just somebody introduced me to it, and I was like, "This is it's different." It's like I I watch it all the time, but when you actually get into it and see, it requires this level of thought, this level of um, like focus. Like like you have a picture, but you're making that picture this like have properties of time and space. You know, you have to control that timing. You have to be able to show what's happening, you know, making it make sense. Because, again, these are just pictures going by in front of you at 24 frames per second. And all of a sudden, it's a moving image that's telling you a story of a world that you can become enthralled with. So that just fascinated me. And I was like, I, I, I got to do this. Um, and over time, that turned into a love for programming, um, a love for learning, just a love for trying at FIA, at least with the founding members, Diego, myself, Horatio, Brandon, we believe that there's nothing that you can't do if someone's already done it. You know, if you want to go make a spaceship to go to Mars, uh, it might be improbable, but not impossible. Right. Um, all it needs is your willpower. You, know, you have to give the spark to that dream. Okay. Yo, man. Yo, 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 the monk goes, you're monk good. Goes. Hey, you're a pitch <laughs> shit man. Like that, shit like that. <laughs> hey, shit like that. This is this is a pitch man. Oh, dude, I, I yeah, can, I can, dude. Hey. Pitch all the time. Yeah. Yo, yo, I can tell. <laughs> I, 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 I can tell. I hear it. Yeah, I can tell. I hear it. I mean, if it sounds like really like, oh, I'm trying to be all this inspirational deep talk. It's more so like this is nah, what. I sound no, real. No, no. It sounds This is genuine. what anime put into me. Genuine. Like. When we can I, cut through. Me, me and this guy can cut through. Sounds genuine, we, man. We, we can cut through. Like, hey, I, come I, on. I, I can tell that you believe in what you're saying. And yeah, I can, you're not just saying. Yeah, like. You have to be able to do what you it. wanted. Like, for, like again, like, when it comes to that inspiration, of the, the watching car, Saturday morning cartoons, watching Dragon Ball Z, Naruto. I mean, these are just cartoons, obviously. But when I, was, when I would watch them, I'd put myself in the character. I'd relate with the story that the character's going through. That's everybody. But when it like oh the message of don't give up you got to be able to try, you know the way these characters overcome their struggles how they, you know they'll go through the training montage and you go man he's really working hard but he deserves it because he's gonna get that power in the end, that's what made me go you know what, even if I'm just a person I can exhibit those traits you know you can just like focus on something like a main character and just get it done oh it's gonna be an obstacle just keep powering through you're in season one. Maybe you won't get it till season five, but you gotta keep going. You might die. <laughs> you yeah. might die, but hey, this, uh, Naruto get wished back. <laughs> Naruto had this great <laughs> quote, and I love that we're quoting Naruto here. But um, one of the samurai was like, "Death is not the end. The end is the loss of conviction." Yeah, talk that. Oh, that's so that, that's, that's some real talk. That's that's a gem. Yeah, anime. Hey, anime yeah, dude, drops Naruto some gems. Naruto real. drops a lot gems. of. It, it has a lot of deep, deep stories, especially some of the filler. Some of the filler got some good, got some good quotables and some good takeaways just for life in general. Absolutely, oh, absolutely. Um, what what has been probably the biggest challenge for y'all in like creating this? Like, what what has been the thing that kept you up at night? Like, damn, like. Oh, Evie might done. be the one who can answer that question because he's worked the hardest on her program. Um, well, yeah, I'm glad that he said pro- essentially that would probably have been the toughest thing. Like, day one of getting this idea, the first question you ask is, how do you build a streaming platform? <laughs> like, how is Netflix built? Yeah. And then you start diving into it and you see, like, all these complexities. Oh, you get, this is how you stream it. 
this is how you have to parse this video. You have to do server protection, uh, you know, the front end, the mobile app, um, just resolutions. There's, there's so many little things that come up that uh, you can't do overnight. Like you, you can't even plan them overnight. You have to just take a few weeks to plan it out, get your idea. It'll take another few weeks to figure out what technologies you're going to be using. Learn how to read those technologies, their, um, you know, their source code, understand what's going on, and then start to actually build the actual theme. It, it, takes, it takes a while, but once you get through that initial process where you finally get that prototype out and you see the vision coming to life, you get more, more energy than I could have ever. You just start going. You go, oh, man, it's getting real. Like whenever I see people who smile and go, you made, you guys made this. This is real. It just makes me want to go back and just add ten more features. It's like, <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> dope. That's dope. That's dope. You gotta, man. It's amazing. How does it feel like to be doing what you love to do? Amazing. Like, you know what I mean? When people just ask you, "What do I do for a living?" I can say it with a smile. So we trying to get there. That's what we're trying hey, to do. Hey, I'm trying, trying to add that. I just want to do this. For real. I just want to do this. Get the family together and say just cheese at the family table. I animate, son. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. That's dope. It's, it's sort of, again, like, look at, look at gamers. I know it's a weird, like, shift, but 10 years ago, if you're talking about, you know, 10 years ago, gamers were not, like, this thing that could be associated with money. The ten years ago, if you're a gamer, you're this poor person living in your mom's oh basement. God, like, oh, you're a gamer, oh buddy, you better get out of here because you're too old. Like you gotta go no, take I a shower. I hated, I hated that. It was, it was a bad stigma. stigma. Yeah, it was an awful stigma. I wore it. Yeah, I just, yeah, yeah like, man. living with my mom's, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. You couldn't stop. Yeah, I am in my crib. mom's basement playing <laughs> video games. <laughs> <laughs> it's like no, I, I, I would spend you know eight to ten hours a day just playing Halo, playing Call of Duty. Dude. Um, but now you look at gamers today. And it's something that can be associated with a living, money. It's like, oh, what? You can play video games online and just get thousands of dollars. It turns oh out you can. God. Yes, Esports. You, you can. Esports Esports is yep. where it's at right now. If you want a bag, get good at Fortnite, uh, Call of Duty, Bro, Overwatch. These kids Turn suck game. at video games. <laughs> <laughs> the, the average, just like the average kid. <laughs> the average kid back when we were kids. Yeah. You had to be good at video games. Mario and stuff, you had to have skill, hand-eye coordination. Games were hard. Yeah. Like, let's put it like Sonic, all that stuff. Like, There's you had to be good. era games that I've yeah. just never beat. You like, had to be good. Would never be. Now, yeah. like Fortnite, bro, like, you you guys aren't well, really good at the, I'm going to defend. I'll, de I'll be the one to defend the Fortnite. I know I don't, play, I don't, I don't play Fortnite much. I did watch a lot of attorneys and a lot of like the people, the pros who played it. But they are like really, really good. Yeah, those are the good people. But I, with your statement of all oh, people were better gamers back then, I agree with it actually because back then there was no internet. You can just look up like you know game walkthroughs. You yeah, couldn't you look. Had, you had to have yeah. a game guy. Exactly. You had, you had, to, had to, you had to figure. Joints. Exactly. Like, like Nintendo, then. Nintendo era, like Super Nintendo era. Super Nintendo. The I ain't had no. Strategy. Exactly. There was I no what a I didn't know what a strategy guy no, was real. until I, PlayStation I, I, One, I bro. Was, I remember, I, 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 <laughs> and sorry, my mom wouldn't buy him. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country, I had to get a strategy guy for it so I could find all the barrels, all the bananas, uh, everything. My, my mom wouldn't That's buy me strategy guys, bro. <laughs> like she was like, "I just bought the game. I'm not buying how to play it." That's right. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what that was that was my life that was my life that's hey. real though man back then if you didn't know where to go you have to just canvas the whole game like click every box like did i not check this spot man now you hop on youtube you good you beating right. that boss you beating I mean, that boss today yes it's how crazy it's gotten it's gotten to the point where me a person who's who used to constantly play 12 hours a day of video games is now only watching most of the games i play i, I can't get with it Sometimes. i know it sounds weird but I, I, I go on Twitch, I go on YouTube, and I literally just follow watch people play crack. games. Follow games yeah, on crack. Yeah, because I, I, I stream. Follow games on crack, guys. I stream, but I don't like watching other people. I, I'll be sitting there, I'm like, I don't want to play it. I want to play this with you. Yeah, that, that used to be the I want to sit like here that. and watch you. I want to play with you. That's, that's, that's me. I, I feel like it was just part of, you know, getting, like, because I used to tell myself, man, I can't imagine not playing video games. What am I, an adult? 
And then it turns out that, yeah, that's, like, yeah, just yeah, don't get less time. time. Man, you don't <laughs> yeah. have any time. Correct. I told, uh, I told, because I'm a teacher Monday through Friday, I told, I told the kids at school, I'm like, man, uh, 10 years ago, you never would have been able to tell me that video games would be where it is right now <laughs> because kids were always asking me, like, do you stream? Do you stream? Do yep. you stream? And I'm like, no. What is no, that? that's stupid. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, no, that's streams. stupid. I'm not streaming. Now I'm like, ah, oh, God, I would have had so many subscribers. Yeah, isn't it crazy? I would have had so many you subscribers get, by now. Hey, you starting to get people from your classes coming on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's okay. people checking in, so yeah. you're not, it's not too late for the subscriber yeah. count. To they find, I'm, not giving it, I'm not giving them the YouTube either. They're finding me. Yeah. Yeah, like, like hey, Mr. Slappy. They, yeah, they finding me, bro. I'm like, yo. Y'all are good detectives, bro. Y'all, how how are y'all? My name isn't like just directly connected with like my YouTube, mm. like not my real name. Like, they, they're like fine. you can't just like they're, they're doing some they're doing some hardcore. They stocking. doing some hardcore work. That's like, right. You gotta go to a website to go to another site to go to another <laughs> site. Like oh, found it, <laughs> found it. Well, I mean, somebody <laughs> said they found games on crack after they said five hours. Like they looked for five hours. Like, they oh, looked for is. five hours and found it. Like here he is. That's the guy right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's my teacher. I'm sad it takes them five hours to find games. <laughs> if you type in Tyrell Slappy, you not just find the games they on crack. They looking for Tyrell like video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to go through just like extreme sleuthing. Oh, they going doing down it, man. The Salute hole. to y'all for that, man. Yeah, the industry is changing. It's um, it's evolving all the time. It's just like I don't know if you guys know this stat, but. Um, seventy percent of the video, I mean, of the web is gonna be video by twenty twenty. Like seventy percent of the web, uh, Netflix takes up as much as forty percent of the bandwidth in some countries, including America. Wow. So you have this odd like movement where everybody only wants to see video. Everyone only wants to see moving pictures. You no, know, they don't want to sit down and read anymore. They want to hear it. They want to be able to like just experience it without having to do much work. That is scary. It's, it's crazy. And that's <laughs> also why we started this platform. Because we saw that like, when it comes to the comic book people, um, you know, they're making these comic books. They're trying to get sales. They're trying to get more money. But nobody's buying comic books like that. Nobody's buying hard, you know, like there are people buying. It's a market, but it's a shrinking market. And it's constantly shrinking. While the animation industry is getting larger, Netflix is putting more and more money into content for people to watch so they can subscribe to their platform. So we're trying to say, let's get these people you know, on the boat early so they understand that the world is changing. Automation is happening. You know, Videos are becoming the norm. So you have to start creating your own animated content. 40%. Dude. 40%. So when Disney Plus dropped. Exactly. No. Jesus. Oh, my God. Wow. Exactly. Well, Netflix is in trouble now because... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah they're so, in trouble with me, for sure. I, well, no, <laughs> they've grown over 11,000% since, what, 2003? I forgot what the, what the exact year was because they were the only dominant streaming site. So Disney, Marvel, all these companies had to go through them. But now they're making their own platform. So Netflix is going to lose all these, like, core shows. Yeah. And they have to figure out, what do we do, guys? Everybody's gonna unsubscribe. They gotta and, make some and good they, ass they, shows. They spent too much. <laughs> they to. spent too much on original content as well, like with their movies. Like they, they spent a ton of money on those yeah, movies. And it's like, not good. Yeah. Like uh, it's not it's good bad model, movies. Man. They okay that, movies. That model, that, mo that model isn't. It doesn't look to be a sustaining model. That's why everybody keeps talking about even like um, how they're releasing. Yeah. Uh, which. They've oh, like out, had no more binging. <laughs> yeah, they they've come out to kind of refute like the the changes. Yeah, but you know it's got to be on their mind as far as like keeping subscribers, like because when you drop everything, correct, they watch it once and they yeah, bounce. Well, out, gone. Man. Wu, I think the Wu Tang series is doing it pretty good. So mm. you gave me three episodes, yeah. three good episodes. Two, it wasn't like just three. Like all right, we're just gonna give them some bullshit. Man. Yeah gave me three good episodes and now you're giving me one consistently every wednesday oh that's, that's fine. great yeah that's awesome. that's fine because honestly like i don't have a crap ton of time to watch yeah. tv anyway correct so by the time wednesday rolls around i'm probably have watched something else that's gonna drop every other day correct by the time wednesday come around all right tonight you know what i'm saying from nine to ten this will be it correct. this will be this will be what i watch because i try to get some tv in and some video game time in and that's 
hard to juggle with yeah, a two year old and also a newborn who's about to be oh, here. Man, so you know it's yeah, it's a ton of. So that's fine. So the binging thing is fine because I've I've honestly haven't been able to binge yeah a show in a very long time. It's been it's been about three plus years. That's because you're working hard, dude. You're out here yeah. making a podcast. You're like you say, taking yeah, care of a this kid. could be this is binge time. Yeah, like this is, <laughs> well no, but oh, hell yeah, that, like there is no time for us. Anymore, so like as, yep. when you got kids. Well, I see, I don't have kids yet, but man, I know I, I've seen I got, it. I got two that. kids, man. Yeah, you know. I got a wife. I always talk about my dogs. <laughs> 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 Damn dogs, man. They yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's hard to just carve out time just to correct. Do your nerd diligence, man. Like I, it means stuff I want to do. Like it, it don't even just be video games because I mean this. It's a video game channel, but it's dedicated to everything yeah. nerdy. Yeah, so yeah, anime. Like, we got to catch up on some yeah, anime. Yeah, there's been about. mad animes that, like, I'm just behind and I'm trying to get get to. I, it's, it's, it's so tough, much man. Con- it's, it's, more it's constantly being tough. released all the time. It's just yeah. cr- tough to keep up. It's only tough to keep up. As long as you got a, you know, a partner who understands that you indulge in that. You okay? Yeah. yeah. So you don't have yeah. I don't have issues where it's like get off the game. <laughs> uh, ain't nobody telling me. Get no, off the game. like it's, you it's, can ask me to get off. The, can, yeah. get, can we have some time together? Then you know I'll think about it. I mean, <laughs> I'll think about giving you that it's, time. It's, it's weird though that we're going all like this is the no this is the life now we have to do these things so because we can't just have our leisure time but like what you guys are doing right now it's becomes fun. a leisure time for yeah, other but people this, yeah. yeah yeah that and i enjoy doing this it's not work yeah. yeah so it's it's good so like what you guys are doing is hard work but the satisfaction that yeah. you get Dude. like the satisfaction from launching this has to be the work had to be so worth it oh man it's definitely worth just to see people find bugs people post their stuff to go oh that's my show or saying i'll watch like just good bad all the reactions it's just a very odd feeling when you release something to the public and not everybody can just either hug it or you know throw it in the dirt like it's just very cool to see so uh with mechacon in particular is this how many times have you been? Is this your first time? Yeah, right? first ever time. First time. Yeah. Okay, all right. We got some first timers with us. First time yeah. games. Oh, we knew my, nothing this about my, this. This is my third. This is my third. Oh, oh, he's been oh, oh, yeah, 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 got experience, dude. Yeah, 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 I'm the one who told these guys that y'all. That's right. I'm the one who told NBA in this manner. Yo, if y'all wanna, y'all wanna put this together, try Mechacon. I do. It's definitely a spot for like you know the nerdy and African and American culture. That's what I mean. Yeah, man. And I say much for what I do. Mean hey, yeah. Hey, Diego come through with the bombs, right, man. Yeah, yeah. There we go, yeah. man. I should tell more about, like, Diego's, like, he's done professional. He's worked on, like, Marvel Comics. This, this dude, he's holding he's himself short. This, this guy's got experience. Uh, Diego, drop the, drop the stats. You here, you here in a place, <laughs> you here in a place where you can drop the stats. Yeah, drop the stats. Talk. 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 He gave me a little bit talk. too much, he gave me a little bit too talk. much credit. Don't be humble on here, Diego. Uh, yeah. uh, I ain't got no choice. I ain't got no choice. Be humble on here, man. Nah, nah, we pop shit. Yeah. <laughs> I we work. Do. I know the people that know the people. Put it that way. Nah, nah, nah. We trying to give you your flowers. You about to, <laughs> you the person. We trying to you give the you person. your flowers, man. Um, I've worked with people who have worked on Black Panther. Um, like I said, I've worked with people who have worked on stuff like different independent, uh, just in, independent things in general, like things that you may see in the time. I've done the coloring, I've done the drawing. I'm currently working on a TV show right now that's supposed to be getting this next. What's up? Stats. Audrey's Audrey holding on, out. Bro. Stats. Come on, man. That's, yeah. Yeah, you in out, there. Man. You see you the type there. of guests that games on crack and you brain the behind to you? the scenes guy. Yeah, he's like Kawhi on game six. Man. Like, <laughs> Yo, he's, man. He's to do more. You watching, <laughs> people, <laughs> you watching people who don't know they the people just yet. Just know we had them first. Yeah. Right, just yeah. know right. that. That's right. Yeah, the people know that. got the people who who will be the people for the people. That's right. We'll do it live. We're Fuck the it. barbarians at the gate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, yo. All right, let me, let's let's divert a little bit because we were talking about video game soundtracks. We gotta uh, give me your top three. 
top three video game soundtracks. Shit. Top three I'm gonna video go first. I already okay. got the first. Okay. I already okay. got the first. Diego, drop the bomb. Go ahead. Metal Gear Solid 4. That's not bad. Okay. That's not a bad All right. one. All right. We was talking about Sonic Girl. You're Sonic Pinball. All right. The casino level. All right. <laughs> Sonic Pinball do got some some really really good music. <laughs> you got some bad yeah, cuts. you got some sleepers, bro. Bat, Batman, Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, they all got the same uh, thing going on. I got the Batman. I like that. What's another? That's one? the top three. That's the top three. That's the okay. top three. No, go keep going. Let yeah, me go hear some more. Let me hear some more. You, you can round it out at the top five. Yeah. <laughs> no, I can give y'all one more because I keep like forgetting everything else. This is low key game. Called Dot Hack. I don't know when that's oh, oh my god. god. Such hey. a rarity. Hey, bro. Hey. <laughs> I still got all my Dot Hacks at oh, the crib, snap. bro. I still oh. got the disc at the crib. Like, literally. I feel like Dot Hack is one of those things you either knew or you didn't, didn't know. know. Yeah. Like, I, Dot, I, I hack, I was, Dot Hack. Oh my god, dude. Like hey, you Dot just dropped. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I told you, Diego wow. got the bomb. Wow, bro. Diego ain't got to say too much. Wow, <laughs> bro. At all. Pop in. Hey, 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 that's something that they could remaster. I'm on it. They I'm already remastered oh, joints. Yeah. They already did. They, for, for what? For what? What system? From start to finish, PS4. Oh. He Very put, recent. I, I'm on it. You better drop some more bombs. Oh, <laughs> No, they, they I, need, no, I need Sony to sponsor me for Simone, man. I gotta let <laughs> yeah, we need uh, send, don't need a dollar to, uh, you know. Yeah, man, whoever did that, go talk to the Power Stone people so we can get a remastered oh, Power God. Stone. Man. <laughs> waiting on that. It's never going to happen. It, it, it better. Hey, it yo, can. Man, we got Shaq Fu again. We can get Power Stone. That's what I'm saying, I'm dude. Saying it, can, it needs, it it needs to happen. Thundercats can still go. It needs a lot of things still come back. It needs to happen. All right, top three. That was some Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to do a top three. My top three picks are a bit weirder. Um, looser. Obviously, you already said Halo before. Halo 3 specifically. Okay. Uh, it's just a, it's a legendary track for me, gaming-wise. Um, for number two, this one's weirder because most people wouldn't put this in their top soundtracks. But Dark Souls. Um, I don't know if you guys played Dark Souls. It's got Dark more Souls. melancholy type yeah. uh, music orchestral. But man, th like those get me in like a Same certain right. zone. Like a very nostalgic, melancholy zone that I, I guess I enjoy. Uh, number three, also odd, because it's like an assortment of songs, is from the Fallout games. Yo. Um, Fallout got some yeah. No. Man. Yeah, dude. The Fallout I games expanded the heck the out of my love for music. Fire. For real, dude. Yeah. I can sing those songs. Like, I before I played Fallout, I would have never guessed that I could bump it to, like, 20s big band Bam. music. Bam. Like, they have some bangers. For real, dude. They got some cuts. Like, I, I, cuts. I, I'm, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. People don't be bringing up Fallout. Y'all drop some sleepers a, for sure. Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, because that's when I was introduced to Fallout. Same, same. Fallout 3. Dude, yeah. like. And the music will make you just want to be out and, and yeah, just exploring. Yeah, it's like yeah, bro. Well, music like, is very through, like, important these, in video games. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. very, very, very important, man. Yeah. Gotta, that y'all got y'all got some picks, man. Like yeah. hey, y'all got, hey. got some dope picks. I rock with y'all, man. I rock with y'all. You gonna you gonna do do yours? You top do three. yours. It's the top three guys. It's the top yours. three. You go on. <laughs> Got a couple of my cuts. Oh, Final hey. Fantasy VII is uh, definitely a top three. Don't <laughs> top, <laughs> top three for me. I don't know. I don't know any song on Final Fantasy VII that I don't that I don't like that that kept me engaged in the story. So that's up there. It may be a bias pick. But no, I think it it's deserves, a good soundtrack. Hey, it yeah, it's a great soundtrack. Yeah, yeah dude, I think Final it's Fantasy a good soundtrack. Final Fantasy VII is one of the most legendary games. Yeah. Of time. So that's there. That's there for me, man. Um, Legend of Zelda. Oh my gosh, anything from Legend of Zelda. Just is amazing. damn near any one, bro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, damn near any one. Oh so I'm going to say the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah. Ocarina is the one that I, I was going to say. Probably would go to first. That one, yeah. That, that, but that's up yeah, there. Zelda, that's up Zelda there. is definitely the Zelda has definitely some great music. Third. I guess I could say Sonic 2. 
But Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 got a dope ass soundtrack yeah, they to got me, nice bro. Mm. They got so it's yeah. The it, bro, they yeah, got facts. they got some they got yeah, some they got hits, some bro. I'm telling you, bro, the live and learn on Sonic Adventure <laughs> 2 is like that that shit is is cold. Like, I could bang that. I could bang that in the car. That Knuckles rap. Knuckles. <laughs> uh honorable mention, man. Chrono Trigger. Oh. MG, oh, he said it. It's funny because I was thinking Chrono about Trigger. Hey, we don't, like, we don't talk enough about Chrono Trigger. Dude, nobody we talks don't. enough about Chrono Trigger. I, we, we, still, we don't talk enough about it. Man. Like, it's, it's, that game's legendary, man. Chrono Trigger called as hell. I got, I got the uh, little PS1 version like, my, at, at the crib. My, my top three. Okay. Since okay. you already said Final Fantasy VII, okay. I'll say Final Fantasy VIII. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's a Final Fantasy VIII is okay for me. Final Fantasy going. Um, you already said Sonic 2. I will say Streets of Rage 2. Streets of Rage. Oh, shit. You don't hear that. Wow. That's, a, that's, a, that's a pick right Streets there. Streets of Rage. And, uh, heat. Number three, Super Mario 64. Ah. Okay, there we Yo. go. Oh, the Mario music. Yeah, oh. just, so yeah just Mario like, just in general. Mario, dude. But I just wanted to point out 64. I love Super Mario 64's uh, whole soundtrack. Just like, even when you're just in the castle, like before you're jumping in any paintings. The dun, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. yeah, man. <laughs> love that. Love. Uh, these things are. What's your, what's your honorable? I know, what's it. I know what you want to mention. I know what you want to mention. What do you mention? I know what you want to mention, man. I don't know. You 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 love it. You love you it. You tell me what I want to mention. I'm GTA to, 3. Oh, I, dude. I was actually going to bring up the GTA series as well. Yeah, Good it, pick. It, it got to be in there. Yeah, it got to be in there. Me and Fan was talking about this. It has to go. Because it's licensed music, so, so I'll be what? putting it but in still, a different it's, it's category. A, it's a but curated, you, well done yes, list. It's you curated. still have to put the right yeah. song, yes. bro. You it's have curated. to have the right song. I mean, even Grand if Theft Auto, I, and it's not just game radio. I love game radio, but even if you go to head radio, yeah, Chatterbox, man, exactly, because I count Chatterbo- Chatterbox as part made, of the soundtrack. Because, oh bro, um, Vice City, yeah. all of them, man. Vice I City, love Vice San City, Andreas. Liberty soundtrack. City, San Andreas, like the work. Like we can say a lot about Rockstar, you know, the the microtransaction practices yeah, and all that. And I can, there's a lot of critique oh, there. Another bag we can exactly. get in. Yeah. You, we're actually going to have to have you guys come in. Yeah, to no, too, dude, I can talk. talk to you about yeah. microtransactions yeah. and the game industry and why it's headed towards a uh, crash. I mean, I watch a lot of you know, different YouTubers. Jim Sterling. Have to get I'm not sure if you know about Jim Sterling, Angry Joe. Save the bag. Oh, yeah. Save we're going to bring you in. Save the bag. Right. We will bring you guys in as guests. Yeah. Save the bag. You'll have because, to come in. Uh, yeah. I've been talking about this for the past, like, two or three months as far as just... Look, that sixty dollars yep. is not going to stretch, and you can tell that it's not going to stretch by how many microtransactions have been put in. And it started off as just we talked about it, season passes. It would just be the season passes. Yeah. Yep. Now you they're trying to get first. you with the season pass. They're trying to get you with the microtransaction. We'll see the 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 battle pass yeah. for things like Fortnite yeah. and whatnot. Well, where you I would argue. Killing, I would argue killing it. that Fortnite's system is the most ethical system, and that's why they're so publicly accepted. When you go and play like the previous Call of Duty or well any game EA releases these days, you know, you know especially the, the sports games like you know 2Ks oh, yeah. the 2Ks Woo! like it's literally become a <laughs> giant loot box fest where oh. so in Fortnite if you want a skin you go to the shop you see the skin you want you pay the money for it you got the skin like, you got it yeah. when you play a two, an EA game you see a, a skin you want you see a, a player you want you go to the loot box area you start to pay for card packs that yeah. are randomized, randomized that don't give you a, a fair chance of getting what you want so now you're not just paying once, you're paying 10, 20, 30 times the amount you should have been paying just to get the thing you wanted. Like, it's unethical, and it's literally teaching kids how to gamble. <laughs> it's like, Yo, check out Games on Crack, bro. Like, yeah, you got to, because we, we've had conversations about this. He's done a think piece about it. This is, this is my main yeah. thing. 
if there's anything I'm raging against, just like in the video game industry, is how they're doing loot boxes, microtransactions. Just insane. Uh, Did you see when EA, um, because they just had to testify in, in yeah, Britain dude. in front yeah, of the, yeah, hey man, quite ethical. Yeah, yeah. I had to these, watch that. These, quite these, these, these aren't loot boxes. No, no, it was the lady they brought up. <laughs> um, we don't, you know, it's not loot boxes. Players, you know, we, we only sell surprise mechanics. She surprise literally said surprise mechanics. mechanics. Kinder eggs. Like, they're, are like you, kinder yeah, they're like Kinder eggs, she said. Bro, yeah, he had me watching a bit of that. Dude, a bit of that. that hearing that hearing was insane. I watched yeah, the entire thing Supr well, front to back. Guess what just happened though? They shouldn't have done that hearing because the Church of England just declared loot boxes as immoral. Yep. Um I, th I think it was England, no, Australia or the UK, I forgot which country, just declared that loot boxes are gambling. Yeah, you so can. So a lot of them are moving forward now to ban loot boxes to get yep. that out of there. It's just not I think right. they're already like I think they're already illegal in like Berlin. Yeah, Belgium, Belgium. said, "Hey, this is gambling." Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh man, I tell you what, <laughs> I tell you what, they they're gonna have to do something, something different in monetizing. Like you said though, I I do believe Fortnite does it right. If there's a way to do it, yeah. Um, I still don't like having to pay battle pass. I'm not trying to pay. Yeah, yeah. just I just I guess because they make like every two so or three months. much money. Yes, like they make so much money that it's like it's, it's yo, astronomically. You, yeah, money. you guys can I don't know put a little more yeah. into See, the game. It, it could be That's more. where the problem is. So it's nothing wrong. A little more. Something wrong with charging a microtransaction for a live service game like a Fortnite or an Apex Legends mm -hmm. if it's free to play. It's actually is Apex free to play? I forgot. Yeah, Apex is free to play. Yeah, um, but the problem is when you're making all this money, maybe you're selling skins or or loot boxes, but you're not putting more content back into the game. So you have like these games, the Call of Duties, you no, know, or what was that one that just came out and literally just like Anthem. Oh my oh, God, God. <laughs> Anthem is a case in like I didn't touch just Anthem. I'm glad I didn't. This organization and Anthem, I was excited for yeah, it. Yeah, Anthem. Okay. I'm not, I'm not here to say to Anthem play. is... Yes, exactly. The mechanics in that game were actually, um, like, the flying. I was like, this game has got the coolest flying in environments I've seen in a long time. It just... Bioware didn't work on it for four years. And by the time they did release it, it was this loot box scenario full of grinding and just not enough missions. Yes, they and then they go, hey, we got this, uh, we got this, this plan for adding more content. They recently just scrapped that plan because uh, we're not making enough money, so peace out. But if we know, we all know that if they were making enough money, they wouldn't have implemented those things anyway. Because their whole motive is to get as much money in, like out of the system as possible, exactly. without putting as much back in. And that's where the whole system falls apart. Look at Rocket League. Rocket League's still going strong after all these years. Yeah, it they is. got microtransactions, yeah. but it's it's ethical. And you at I mean, least give us some dope music every update. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, we it's speaking on soundtracks. Yeah, we th oh, that's a sleeper. Time. Yeah, that's a, that's a sleeper right there. Yeah, yeah. you got to you got to give you got to give more. I um and and sometimes just give us something so like Ultimate Alliance 3 is a game I've been playing. Yeah. Um so came out 59.99. Yep. They just gave a free just a free update with like three more characters Boom. for free, three Boom. more playable characters. Boom. And like, I, I want to say like 30 new missions you could do. It's like, thanks for free. Thank you. Yeah, you I appreciate that. Yeah, Cause yeah. you're making so much money. Cause you guys probably just had this sitting around anyway. Exactly. Dirty did it already. Yeah, yeah, you did it. it. Yeah, so just throw it out there. Now I'm sure you'll charge for something later, but make it, make it enough, man. Like yeah. even Spider-Man PS4, $79.99 for the deluxe edition when it came out. You got the whole story, and then you got three episodes that were like half stories yeah. with so much content. Yeah, I mean, I, I watched so I, Diego yeah, play that. That game, was, that game was amazing. Oh, that game was great. Yeah, you you talking about uh, wanting to be feel like you're Spider Man? That's yeah. the game to play. Oh, I love Spider Man. Spider -Man. That's the game to play. Yeah, Spider Man. So, yeah, just, um, just do it right. Like, I don't right. mind spending a little extra money. Yeah, just don't just uh, do it. Yeah, do it right, man. It's like I, I bet you by 2030, Call of Duty is going to be selling like microtransaction bullet reloads. So it's like, oh, you want to get the reload faster? Yeah. Yeah, just pay five bucks and we'll uh, reclip that gun quick. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if we if we talking about monetizing, okay, let's let's talk about what fire. Is. Okay. Uh, let's relate it as far as people getting bang for their buck, making yep. sure like consumers are happy. Yep. Um, what have you guys done to implement or what have you implemented 
to make sure the consumers as well as the creators feel that bang for their buck? Um, so in terms of, uh, we try to go with, like uh, I guess, a very new age, fair approach to um, publishing. A, we're not taking any of your IP. So if you post any of your show on fire, we don't have a cut of that. You can go sell your merchandise. We don't expect a cut of that. You can go, you know, advertise it, post it elsewhere. We don't expect you to tell us anything. Like, that's, it's your show. It's your IP. Um, we have a subscription feature where a person like Twitch can come and, you know, subscribe to your show, give you $5 a month. You know, we add tax to that. So the individual will pay the tax, and then we deduct 20%, you know, for making the site run for profit for the company. And then the rest goes right to the artist. The consumer, there is no microtransaction. Uh, there are no ads that pop up in the video. There are no pop up anything. It's all just free. Like the entire platform, you don't have to pay a penny to any artist to watch a show on our platform. It's all free. You can just go there yeah, you and watch any show. Of, remind me of Anchor too, because you know people can go on Anchor and listen to us. They don't have to worry about ads. Yeah. Ain't nobody I mean, and they, can, and they can subscribe to us, but they don't have to worry about an ad. Like, I could put an ad in between the show if I want. Yeah. And they allow you to monetize off of having that ad there. Yeah. But, you know, you don't have to. You can just come listen, and yeah, that's what exactly. it is. Like, you're not going to get ads and stuff like that. Exactly. Yeah, so that's... So we're trying to keep it dope. very, very fair, very open, listening to the fans. Um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a grassroots thing. You know, it's very... It's, still, like, it's literally still in its infancy. But like, like you said, when it comes to microtransactions, just my experience with the games industry and seeing like how predatory they, like, they've gotten, seeing how predatory the entertainment industry is and how it seems that everybody from a business side just wants to like screw you over. You know, we really want to change that perception. But just starting from the ground up, rather than going to the studios first and making deals with them, you know, make deals with the people who are actually drawing the... The, the core content, you know, give them opportunities. It's important. That's what I'm talking about. Um, this, is, this is dope. I like, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. You got anything else? I do not. I actually got to start getting out of here. All Nephew right. got homecoming. Right. Homecoming, go see that guy off. Yeah, his All first right. homecoming. Nice. Shout out yeah. to Big Neff. Gotta go see Shout him. Gotta go Big see Neff. him off. Big Neff, boy. Big Neff. <laughs> Big Neff. <laughs> um, Tell, tell everybody like where they can reach you guys uh, on social media. Uh. So yeah, you can go on Instagram at Fire TV, just Fire TV. Uh, you can reach the website at Fire TV or Fire TV uh, There's also a Reddit page. Uh, I think it's just Fire TV as well. You might want to spell that out for me. Uh, the, yeah, to spell Fire, it's F I Y A H dot TV. So F I Y A H dot TV. Uh, it's already online. You can already. It's only, I think there's only like three cartoons up there right now, but you can post your own cartoon. Uh, we're working with early animators who have ideas, who already have episodes created. We're willing to pay them, you know, up to hundred dollars a month for now. Increase that over time, just so they have something to keep going with. Um, but yeah, the idea is just to grassroot it and get the, get these early birds some fans, some subscribers, so they can actually start generating revenue. And, and this is important too: no age limit. Like if it's a little, no age kid, a little kid who's just a prodigy. Yeah, yeah, if, yeah. You yeah, can, or just a stick like, figure hey, prodigy. Wanna, Correct. Come on there. If it's a kid who just has really good drawing skills or wants to make their own animation, or if it's a a person, you know, it's like whoever you are, you can post. The only limits around it are, um, like for example, there's their tax things we have to walk you through in terms of like if you make over four hundred dollars a month, there's some there's certain forms that you have to fill out. Same thing happens on Twitch and Patreon. So we're not too different when it comes to the other platforms like that. So it's, again, it's, it's from the ground up, we're very open to critique. I, I, I think somebody like told us, oh, this button wasn't working the other day. Same hour, you know, fixed it. Like, so it's still at that point where the people you're talking to are the people who are building it. And it's not just like some crazy corporation. And you know, hopefully we, like, we want to make it more of that community where the community grows it. Um, and we're also rolling out more features that take the power out of our hands and put it more in the hands of the community, such as um, approving and you know denying shows. We plan to turn that into a community voting feature where people in the community can vote on the shows that haven't been approved yet in order for them to get in, and the people who vote get money for voting. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. 
Yeah. Definitely a way to raise engagement. And, uh... Hey, oh, my God. boy Devin. What up, what up, what up, See what up? him early. He came yeah. through. He came through early. Um, I appreciate y'all for coming through, Thank man. you so much, uh, guys. This is an excellent thing. Yo, Diego over there in the corner dropping bombs. Yeah, yeah, door. yeah. Hot fire. <laughs> yeah. The humble, hot, Mr. The humble hot, over there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kawhi Leonard over Mr. there. Mr. Leonard. <laughs> He's got big hands. Mr. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard points. over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah man. shout out to y'all. Shout out to Fire TV. Right, thank you guys so much, man. It's been, it's been great. Hey, we definitely appreciate you. Definitely talk some more. And we, we signing out, yo. Yeah, we definitely going to have y'all on for sure. Yeah, MechaCon 2019, anytime. Man. MechaCon 2019. It, it's been real. Your boy, Crack Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <it> slaps. <laughs> and this is games. Oh, yeah, boy. Game.